Composed, clinical, commanding. Luca Toni is one of the most prolific strikers Italy has ever produced. He's one of only eight Italians to score more than 300 goals. And at 38, he's still going strong. Now in his third season with Hellas Verona, this ageless assassin is enjoying a renaissance in the Italian top flight. So far, my time at Verona has definitely been positive. I was supposed to retire a few years ago, but when I came to Verona, I felt rejuvenated. I was inspired by the enthusiasm of this city and the fans, as well as the president's desire to do well in the top flight, and I've managed to do well here. A veteran of the game, Tony has been top scorer in Italy's Serie A, Serie B, the Bundesliga and the UEFA Cup. And last season, he made history again. Becoming top scorer at 38 was like the cherry on top of the cake for my career. I never imagined that I would have been able to achieve so much again. But after my first season at Verona, when I came so close to winning it, and then my second season, when I saw I was close again, I started to believe that I could do it. When I actually won it, it was a wonderful feeling that I shared with my teammates. It was another record in my career, and I think it'll be hard to break. What can I say about Luca Toni? Well, he's a great player and very important to that league. He's been top scorer in Italy's Serie A, and I think that speaks for itself when it comes to the qualities of Luca Toni. Toni has blazed a goal trail with some of Europe's biggest clubs, but it wasn't until a move to Sicily at age 26 that he made his real breakthrough. President Zamparini convinced me to go to Palermo. Despite the club being in Serie B, I was sure that I could make a difference and help Palermo get promoted to Serie A. And it was the right choice because that was my breakthrough. Tony's 30 goals that season led Palermo to promotion and earned the striker his first Italian cap, as well as a new celebration. I came up with this celebration in Palermo at a dinner with friends. One of them asked me how beautiful something was. He said, did you see how beautiful it is? Did you see these beautiful things? It's a gesture that I liked. And I said, if I score on Sunday, I'll do it. And I did. From then on, I began to do it every time I scored. That celebration would become a familiar sight. A prolific first season with Fiorentina, climaxed in Germany in 2006, and Italy's date with destiny. If I think about the 2006 World Cup, the first thing that I remember is how shimmering the trophy was when we first saw it. I remember Cannavaro saying, don't look at it. We lifted above our heads at the end of the match. And I remember all the people who were waiting for us when we arrived in Rome, celebrating our victory. The enthusiasm of the Italians, even those who were in Germany. I saw people crying, people saying, you only get this emotion once in a lifetime. It's amazing when you touch other people like that. You're living the experience firsthand, so you know how it feels. But when you see people crying and thanking you, it means you've done something extraordinary. A history man with Italy and Luca Toni is still hitting the heights today. So what of the future in Fair Verona? I've been saying that I'll retire for three or four years, but right now my focus is keeping Verona up. Then who knows? I always make my decisions with my family, so we'll see what happens at the end of the season. I know that sooner or later I'll have to quit, and when I do, I'll see what the options are, and I'll decide what to do. I won't leave football, though, because it's what I know best, and I can use my experience to help others. I'd like to work with kids helping clubs develop, and also promote a positive message around the game, especially helping young players, who I think are losing a lot of important values in football.